Do you realize that anybody who knows how to use Google's free tools can now far exceed the work of some of the highest paid consultants in the world? Today I want to show you not only how to generate the reports that these consultants get paid big bucks for, but how to extend that research into all different types of tangible assets that your clients are going to thank you for. My name is Casey Meehan. I ran a marketing agency of about 15 people for 10 years before pivoting into helping as many people as I can learn how to implement AI into their business. Today we're going to be using a handful of free Google tools to first generate a report and this report is going to be centered around how to get your services or maybe your clients and customers services and products listed in these different AI search results but then we're going to take that report and quickly build a hallucination free chat bot based around everything in that report and all the different research uh, articles that went into it then we're gonna take that chat bot and use it to create a whole video series with various modules about how to perform this new service, which is called AEO. Some people are calling it GEO. But again, this report will all be around how to get these uh, products and services listed in the AI search results. So I'm jumping into the ebook. I create an ebook like this for every single video that I create. These are all instantly available to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's a link in the description for that. And the first step here is the meta prompt. So I've talked about this in other videos. I'll link to some of those in the description if you want a deep step-by-step -step walkthrough on this. But you can take a prompt like this. And when we're creating these research uh, documents using Gemini's deep research function, we want to really steer that as uh, effectively as possible. And I've found that taking some time out to really focus on that prompt and use AI to help us create a highly detailed prompt for that uh, deep research project, we get some insanely good results. So here's the prompt that I'm gonna drop into Gemini. And I'm gonna use the fast model of Gemini, the Flash. We'll probably use Flash 2.5 today. So here in Gemini 2.5, I'm dropping this in. It just says, can you please help me create a very detailed prompt in all caps? We really just wanted to create a prompt. That is the best way that we can begin to steer the deep research here that I can use for creating a report into understanding how to get my services to show up in the AI results. And you can obviously switch this out for whatever type of report you're trying to create for either yourself or for your clients or for your industry at large. The output of the prompt should yield a McKinsey style report that I can use to help me implement AEO tactics to ensure that my services are available in these AI results. I'm interested in practical action steps. Important, your goal is to just create a highly detailed prompt. And there we go. If we stress to it enough that we just want that prompt, it will generate a great prompt for us that we can then use inside of deep research without it trying to just jump right into deep research. These tools can be very thirsty these days and we've got to really wrangle them to get the best results out of them. And this is what we want to put into deep research. It goes on and on and talks about the different pillars that we need. Now we can really steer that in the right direction. So I'm starting a new chat string. Now I'm turning on deep research and I'm dropping in this prompt and then it's gonna go ahead and generate its plan. Very important to look at that plan and edit that plan. I spent many months not editing that plan and I can tell you editing that plan has really increased the results by a wide margin. I edit every single plan because it always tries to do some kind of lazy stuff and it will try to sometimes be like, I'm going to give you the whole, yeah, like this whole fundamental shift from SEO. It's going to try to give us this whole history and, and get away from some of the practical steps that we want to cajole out of the model. Sometimes I might say, look, focus all everything on step two or cut out step one. Do not do step one, only do step two and three or you know, add multiple steps in step two. You can think of a lot of different ways to uh, speak its language and steer it as far as these steps go. I wouldn't edit it any more than once. So whatever it comes back to the next time is probably as good as it gets. If you start editing that plan again, it starts to degrade really quickly. So 
99% of the time, I'm editing it and telling it which steps it should be focused on. All right, and it has cranked out a powerful report on a very timely subject. I feel like every day I'm talking to folks about this type of thing, and now we have all of this great research in one place. You can do so much with it from here. You can create a web page, infographic, quiz, audio overview, and these are getting good. You can share and export it. I'm gonna export this to a Google Doc. I've got another video I'm gonna to link to now that talks about how you can take these documents and use the pyramid principle to find the most actionable steps from them. So check that out. There's a lot you can do with these. That video also covers how to use uh, gamma to turn them into some really cool uh, decks if you are presenting these to your clients or to your team. But what I really wanna show you today is how we can take this now and pull it into Notebook LM. What I'm gonna do is hop into Notebook LM and fire up a new notebook. I always get excited when I'm firing up a new notebook. I'm gonna connect this to the Google Drive and grab that document that we just created. That's gonna pull in this report. Not only that though, I'm going to the bottom of this doc and I'm gonna grab all the sources here that it grabbed. I'm going back into Gemini. I'm gonna say, please return just the URLs from the following, and I'm dropping in all those sources. Okay, so now we can grab all of these sources, copy, and add these sources right into our Notebook LM website. You can now paste URLs in bulk, which is super cool. So now we've got not only our report, but all the source material that went into our report. And so now that we have this, we can share this notebook provided that we're not in a Google uh, G Suite setting. So if you have a Google account that's set up around your company where you're using it like I do, you know, at blazingzebra.com is my Gmails and the, the Gmails of my team. Um, unfortunately, you need to be in a personal account to share your notebooks. I don't know exactly why this is, but this is sometimes an issue with Google products. So I've set up a dummy uh, Gmail account that I just call bznotebooks at gmail.com. And that's where anytime I'm creating a shared notebook like this one, I just do it all there so I can share those directly with my clients and with my Patreons here. So up here, we've got this share button. And we're gonna flip this to share anyone with the link. Gonna copy that link, click save. And now this is how it shows up. Anybody with access to it can then come in here and start to ask questions, select sources. They can't edit and change the sources, but they can interact with this as they would a chat bot. And this is a quick and easy way to uh, build these really cool chat bots that are basically hallucination free because they're all grounded in the source material here. That's one of the beauties of Notebook LM is it is nearly 100% grounded in the uh, sources here. Other AIs such as, you know, custom GPTs, chat GPT projects, Claude projects, they can do similar functionality, but there's much more gray area when they decide to use their training data versus their source material. And that's one of the major advantages of Notebook LM is you don't have that issue. Uh, it's really grounded in this material. Just giving it a quick test by asking, what's the best way to start with this for a brand new service business? Again, we've got our report that we've created and all of the sources that went into that for some really deep research. And this walks you through citing all these different resources, how to get started with this answer SEO. And you can click on those resources or anybody can see it's a public notebook. So people can click through and find these different sources here. This links to an Ahrefs study all about this stuff. So I've got a link to that right there in the ebook as well, but we're not done yet. Now I'm back in the version of this that I created so I can edit this version. And I'm going to create a mind map to just get a feel for all of the categories of information that are here. I love to just get a feel for what I'm dealing with by creating these mind maps because it gives you the foundational blocks that then branch out into the other, you know, more nuanced areas of whatever topic we're dealing with. 
And here is that mind map. What I'm most interested in and what I think most people are interested in is this implementation roadmap. And that has four phases with all sorts of nuance there. So now I'm going into this video overview. These are getting so good. So I'm just saying, please create a video overview all about phase one of implementation, audit and foundation. So there's so much knowledge here to create one video overview. These end up being somewhere between five and seven, eight minutes long. Try to smash that all into one video. You're just gonna get a general overview. But if you steer it into those nuanced areas, you can begin to create an entire library of video resources that are going to be instantly shareable as well. So we'll generate that. And while that's generating, I'm going to go ahead and spin up another one here saying, please generate a training module all about phase two of implementation, content atomization, generate. And you know what's coming next, phase three, authority building, and phase four of implementation measurement. And remember, that isn't me coming up with those different modules. I'm using the best bits of the um, mind map to come up with those because this has, you know, given me a feel for, you know what, I don't think people need to know this paradigm shift. Everybody kind of gets it. So we're going to skip right to the meat of the matter and build out these videos about the implementation rollout. But these shareable hubs are just beautiful. There's so many different things you can use them for. Client education, client onboarding, you know, prospect discovery hub, letting prospects know what it's like to work with your company. Um, all sorts of active client collaborations, project documentation, really goes on and on with these shared notebooks. And the fact that they're so easy to spin up and that they're so grounded in the different sources is I think a big win over the fact that you can't really brand it. You can't really hide the fact that you're using a free Google tool. I do get a lot of questions about people asking, can I put this in an API and just have this stuff running in the background? And Google's not doing that with Notebook LM that I can see in the foreseeable future because uh, it is sort of a product in and of to itself. I think there may be other products, there probably are some already rolling out with similar functionality, but none I've found to be as good and as uh, reliable as Notebook LM for these types of use cases. And you can get really fancy with the video generation prompts, getting into the hook that you use in the first 10 seconds, you know, the clear problem statement. It does a lot of this stuff automatically, but if you know a lot about your audience, you can guide it to be as engaging as possible. And for sure, keep guiding it to go into the very specific tactics or insights. So what I did is instead of just creating one general video, which is I think where most people stop, but really breaking it into those different phases and maybe one of those phases of implementation has a bunch of different steps in it, I might create a video for each one of those. There's so many cool things you can do with this. If you're generating a weekly newsletter, you can now create a weekly notebook LM shared notebook that you can then keep everybody in your industry up to date on all the different news that they can then interact with immediately. So you could charge for that or you could definitely start to build some serious authority by putting that thing together. Here I am back in that shared notebook and you can see now it has access to all of the different assets that we created. So think about it. Now you can not only create that amazing report, but you can then hand off these interactive assets directly to your client where they can dive deep into all this stuff and get their questions answered directly from these tools. There is a ton more in the ebook about this. Like I said, every ebook I create is usually around 20 pages. And if you can't tell, this is a topic that is close to my heart. I have a whole nother resource all about launching your consulting practice, positioning yourself and getting clients I'm going to link to that in the Patreon as well. And I've done a handful of videos about this. They are all in the description. There's one showing up right here. If you haven't checked that out, go take a look at that. And I'll see you over there. Make your dreams come true.